On May 17th, the new Star Trek film, Star Trek Into Darkness, opens in AMC theaters everywhere. Now, as many of you know, in the first Star Trek film back in 2009, the movie opens with James Kirk's father heroically and single-handedly fighting off an enemy ship so that his crew, wife, and newborn son, James T. Kirk, could escape. The man playing Kirk's father was Thor himself, Chris Hemsworth, making his big screen debut. However, Hemsworth was not the first pick to play the role. In a recent interview, Mark Wahlberg revealed that J.J. Abrams had asked him to play the role of Kirk's father, but that he turned it down. Wahlberg stated, I remember J.J. Abrams asking me to play Captain Kirk's father in Star Trek. I tried to read the script, but I couldn't even... Well, I didn't even understand the words or dialogue or anything. And I said, I couldn't do this. I think you're really talented, but I couldn't do it. Then I saw the movie and I was like, holy bleep. He did a great job. John, how do you think Mark Wahlberg being the first Star Trek may have changed the film? I think it actually may have changed a lot. I, I don't know if it would have changed a lot as far as that movie in and of itself because the character was written. But I guarantee you... Number one, if Mark Wahlberg had played Kirk's father, I believe in the next film, Star Trek Into Darkness, which is opening here soon, I bet they would have had a flashback of some sorts just to take advantage of the fact that they got Mark Wahlberg in there. So I think that would have changed it a little bit. But I think the bigger change, and this is the, where it gets interesting, this was Chris Hemsworth's first big screen debut. And I looked around a little bit, and I'm fairly certain that he was not cast yet as Thor. So here's where it gets fun to speculate. Had Chris Hemsworth not got the role in Star Trek, and it was a small role, would he have been Thor? Would Chris Hemsworth, would we be looking at a different Thor now when we went to go see Avengers and Thor and Thor 2? Would it be a different guy other than Hemsworth? And I think that's the part that gets really interesting. Look, I actually think he did a great job as, as Kirk's father in that, you know, that one scene. And it is funny when you talk to people still that still don't realize that was Chris Hemsworth. They wait a minute, that was Thor, that dude? Yeah, he looked completely different, clean shaven, short mm -hmm. hair, a little bit lighter. It looks like a totally different guy, but I have to think those are the two things that would change. Number one, I'm not sure that he would have been Thor, which would have changed Marvel movie history. And then I think, although it wouldn't have affected the first Star Trek movie having Mark Wahlberg in there, I think having Wahlberg in there probably would have caused J.J. or some of the studio guys to say, let's write in one or two flashbacks and bring Wahlberg back. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with those two things, th those are the things I think that would have changed. So it's, it's pretty interesting when you get to hear about who could have played certain roles. I, I think that would have been interesting. Good point. Points. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.